Ran over three laps of the track, sprinting is the fastest of all track disciplines. Competition commences with a flying 200 meter time trial that seeds the riders. Then the athletes compete two at a time, with the first over the line being the winner. With only two riders on the track, it's hard to catch your opponent by surprise, so the race normally comes down to a final dash for the line over the last lap. It's not always the case though. A few months ago at the recent World Championships in Melbourne, Britain's Jason Kenny took the favourite Francis Gregory Bourget by complete surprise, going from the gun, and he almost pulled it off. Although he crossed the line first, he was relegated to second place for coming out of the sprinter's line. It's the one a metre from the bottom, once the final sprint had actually started. That kind of manoeuvre is rare and doesn't normally succeed. So, how do the tactics normally work? Well, riders watch each other intently to prevent a surprise attack while slowly building speed. With a lap to go, both riders want to take to the front position. The leader tries to prevent this by making it difficult for the following rider to know which side to pass, while simultaneously accelerating hard in the straight to prevent overtaking until it's too late. The back, the outside, is the long way round, so the trailing athlete is constantly looking for an opportunity to dive on the inside. It's a game of immense skill. They'll often ride laps at 60 kilometres an hour or more whilst looking backwards. Huge power, more torque than a BMW sports car, and a massive amount of courage. 